Yoink. Awesome, they got the protege. They also have it on 4K. A bunch of 4Ks over here. They do have the new Injustice. I might I might pick this up. Black Friday, I'm not sure. Snake Eyes. They do have old. Yeah, here we go. The Night House. Awesome. We come over here. Here's another one I need for today. Needle in a Time Stack. They finally got in copies of The Stand on Blu-ray. This is something that, um, again, might be a Black Friday pickup. There's supposed to be a couple others, I thought. Hmm. Oh, they do have, whoa. They put this out early, this comes out next week. Still grabbing that, that's, that's pretty sweet. But yeah, pretty cool. That looks to be about it. They do have a different DVD cover for Snake Eyes, which I actually really like. Perfect. So, what an interesting Blu-ray Tuesday. And I'll explain that in a minute. First off, everything I picked up. So, out of the, we gotta go from like, major here to <laughs> whatnot. Up first, from Universal, we have the Blu-ray DVD digital code combo pack of M. Night Shyamalan's old this was a really good movie. I did see this in theaters. I uh, had an interesting theater experience with this. Um, the screen was flickering for the first four minutes of the movie, and it took them a few minutes to figure out what was going on, and they reset the movie. And I was a little upset because it was like a 10 p.m. screening, and I'm like, I kind of just want to see this and go home. But uh, this was actually really good. I highly recommend this. Uh... It's got a decent amount of special features. Yeah. Looking forward to revisiting that one. And then we have the Blu-ray digital copy combo pack of probably even with or without the pandemic, 2021's biggest box office failure. Uh, and that's a shame because it's actually really a movie I really enjoyed. Uh, the Blu-ray digital copy combo pack of Snake Eyes G.I. Joe Origins. This movie did horribly at the box office. Um, it's kind of not a surprise because this movie just seems like it came out of nowhere. Even though it is a really entertaining action movie. Oh, was there anybody really asking for this? Apparently, I guess not. The movie has grossed less than $40 million worldwide, and its budget is reported to be at least $110 million, so huge flop, but still really good. You got some cool features on here. Apparently, there's a new Snake Eyes short film. We'll see how that is. Then, uh, it's weird because the four major releases... Um, that came out today, not only were they ones that I saw in theaters, um, I saw them on the same night, like as double features, like I saw Snake Eyes and Old as a double feature, and I saw this and the next title in a double feature. We have the Blu-ray DVD digital copy combo pack of 
The Protégé, a really fun, really solid action movie with Maggie Q, Michael Keaton, and Samuel L. Jackson. It really bothers me that they're crediting Michael Keaton first when Maggie Q is the main character of the movie. But this is a really fun, entertaining uh, action movie. Uh, yeah, I just, I really enjoyed it. Um, looks like a decent amount of special features on here. Yeah, not too bad. And then the other movie I saw that night, guys, I can't tell you, this is one of the absolute best movies of the year, bar none. Uh, so much so that my buddy Austin, who works at a Regal, had snatched me some posters recently, and he got me a poster for this, and that is the Blu-ray digital code combo pack of The Night House. Let's see if I can show it off here. Yeah. Thanks, Austin. <laughs> this is this is awesome. I love this. Really, really cool. I gotta find a spot on my wall for it. But yes. This movie was brilliant, scared the absolute hell out of me. It's a really great, great horror movie. Absolutely loved it. Um really freaked me out. I, I really I really loved this one. Uh and then Finally for this week, this was one that came out like on video on demand this past weekend, and that is from Lionsgate, the Blu-ray digital co uh, copy combo pack of Needle in a Time Stack, which is kind of a kooky title, but this does have Leslie Odom Jr., Frida Pinto, Cynthia Erivo, and Orlando Bloom. And from the review I read by uh, Mark Dusick of MarkReviewsMovies.com, uh, the plot of this sounds pretty interesting, so we will see. I like the the color of the slip. So that was it for this week. Um, the problem was I was looking for other titles. Uh, I was looking to see if any store had Joe Bell on Blu-ray because it was another movie I saw in theaters. I was looking for, um, just out of curiosity, if any store had Last Man Down on Blu-ray, which is the new Saban Films release, uh, I think their first through Wellgo USA. None of them did, and the one that I was really after the most was a movie called No Man of God with Elijah Wood and Luke Kirby. That's a movie I really want to see, and the Best Buy that I went to, I didn't realize this, it had the skew out for it right next to Needle in a Time Stack. They didn't have any copies of it out, so maybe throughout the weekend I'll go look looking through it. But... As you saw at that Best Buy, they did have something else, and that is a Saban Films title from Lionsgate, the Blu-ray digital copy combo pack of The Colony. From my understanding, this doesn't come out until next week, so I was like, all right, well, at least I get to knock one off the list for next week. That's pretty cool. Um, I've heard very mixed things about this. I don't know. It looks like an alien invasion movie again, or like an alien apocalypse. Uh, it's the last Alien Apocalypse or Alien Invasion movie they did. Occupation Rainfall was not very good, so we'll see if this is any good. But then I went to Walmart. I didn't film myself going into Walmart for two reasons. Number one, I was on the phone. And number two, um, even if I were to film, it would be really awkward because that was the time of day that I went in where the entire store had a 6 o'clock team meeting. And I did not want to be a part of that, so... I looked over the electronics section because I wanted to see if they had any Blu-ray copies of No Man of God. And they had received copies of the movie, but unfortunately Walmart is one of those ones where they only get the DVD, so I am going to have to go to a Best Buy to see if any of them got copies of it. But uh, the boxes were there, and um, I looked through the boxes. Technically you are, it's a gray area. Uh, my store kind of doesn't care if you look through them. And believe it or not, they had a couple shipments of stuff that comes out next week. Um, I looked in the box and I saw a bunch of copies, uh, Blu-ray, DVD, and 4K copies of Don't Breathe 2. And I went, huh, that doesn't come out until next week. Um, I'm not grabbing that day one. I'm going to wait for Black Friday because the movie was all right. Um, but I still want to have it in my collection at, you know, for completing reasons, because I do have the first movie. Then I opened a box, and they had copies of Stillwater, 
and Warning from Lionsgate and Grindstone. Unfortunately, while those are titles that come out next week, they only had DVD copies of them for some unknown reason. Um, those are going to be released on Blu-ray, so I was like, well, that stinks. But they did have this, and I had no idea that Walmart was releasing it, like an exclusive slip cover for this. But I did grab it because I am going to grab, as insane as this sounds, a normal edition and the Target edition of this. And that is the Blu-ray DVD digital code combo pack of the Suicide Squad. Look at that, King Shark. Nom nom. I love this. And actually, what's really cool about this is that the back is different, too. From what I've seen from people who have gotten early review copies of the standard edition, the entire cover looks different. Like, the back looks completely different and everything. It's pretty much just the slip cover of this. So, I was like, wow, that's really cool. I'm going to take this and scan it. This scan, no problem. I was able to purchase it and walk out of the store, uh, which basically means that Walmart will pretty much put anything out early. Um, I remember there was an old guy who yelled at me because I think there was something I was looking for a few months ago, and he told me, oh, that doesn't come out yet. Um, that comes out like in a week or so, and the systems won't recognize it. Well, this comes out in a week, and the system recognized it perfectly. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. I do love the slip cover. Um, that's, that's just really cool. Um, also the best movie of the year so far. And of course, <laughs> I made sure Austin would get me a poster of this as well. I believe this is the cover for the 4K Blu-ray. Um, I'm not grabbing the 4K Blu-ray unless I find it for like super cheap. But yeah, saw that, saw that in uh, theaters twice, because I saw the original Suicide Squad in theaters twice, and I saw Birds of Prey in theaters twice. So that is a Blu-ray Tuesday first. Not only did I pick up a whole bunch of stuff that came out this week, but I picked up two titles that I was supposed to grab next week. That's a bit of a plus, but I'm still hoping for No Man of God. <laughs> so that's it. That's what I picked up this week. Um, did you guys pick any of this up? I know a couple other releases came out, like... Um, Injustice. I think I'm going to wait for Black Friday to pick that up. And um, you guys saw that that Best Buy finally got in copies of The Stand, the new miniseries on Blu-ray. I am going to wait until Black Friday to pick that up because I've heard really bad things about that. Um, I think it's mainly because Amber Heard is in it, and rightfully so. Amber Heard is a horrible person. Shame on her for doing what she did to Johnny Depp. She should lose her entire career. I don't understand why they went ahead and casted her and... Uh, Aquaman 2, um, but that's a tangent. <laughs> so that is it. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all next week, where I will be picking up Stillwater and Warning. Bye-bye. <laughs>